Hey there, I'm Brady from Uplink Robotics, and this is going to be a video about our Mink Inspection Crawler. We have designed this crawler with a universal camera mount right here that fits most action cameras, such as a GoPro. This rover does not come with an action camera. You will supply your own camera, but we have found a lot of home inspectors are using GoPros, or if you don't already have one, they are a really good tool for inspecting in tight spaces. You can take pictures and save them straight to your phone through the GoPro app, which is how we are going to be doing it today. This is gonna be a two-part video about this rover. Uh, in the first part, I'm going to walk through setting it up, how to use it in your first time, and talk in depth about some of the features about it. And then we're gonna drive it around. And then in the second part of the video, I am going to be taking it down into a crawl space and showing you kind of how you would actually be using it in a tight and dark space that you didn't want to have to crawl into. So when you first receive your crawler, what you're going to need to do is charge the battery. So it comes with this battery right here and this battery charger. So this battery charger has two ports on the bottom, this bigger one and a smaller one. And the bigger one matches this connector on the battery. So go ahead and plug that in once you have the battery charger plugged into the wall. And then this light will turn red, indicating that the battery is charging. And once it turns blue, that means the battery is fully charged. And you are ready to go on to the next step. Once you have fully charged your battery, you're ready to turn on the transmitter. So the transmitter, you need to make sure that you always turn this on and initialize it before you turn on the rover. First of all, so that the camera rotation will work. It will not work if you turn on the rover first, but also so you have control of your rover while it is turned on. So to turn this on, you're gonna use this power switch right here, flip it on, it should display this message and beep at you. This means it is not ready to be connected. What you need to do to initialize it is flip all of these switches to their most up position and then lower this stick all the way down. You should hear it beep and it should display this screen right here with this one line TX voltage and then a battery indicator up in the top right. That is the battery on the transmitter. The transmitter takes four double A's here in the back. So once the battery is low, you'll have to replace these double A's. So now the transmitter is ready, we're ready to move on. A note to know about this transmitter is if you leave it on and unattended, it will start to beep at you. And all you need to do is move a stick or flip a switch to get it to go out of sleep mode. And you will probably hear that a few times in this video. I'll just have to reach over and push a button on it. So once you're ready with that, it's time to choose your camera. So in this video, we're gonna be using a GoPro Hero 11 that again, does not come with the rover, but we have found that any GoPro will fit in our universal mount. That's why we designed it the way it is. So to get it in there, you will undo the strap. This is a GoPro Hero 3, so one of the older ones and a much smaller GoPro than the 11 here. But when you tighten down the strap, you can see that it is very well attached, not going anywhere. So now I'll go ahead and put the GoPro Hero 11. This is the biggest GoPro other than the GoPro Max. But, and it fits very well. Stuck it down, it's not going anywhere. So now you have your camera in, it's time to insert the battery into the rover. So we have a thumb screw lid right here that you will undo this thumb screw until it lifts out. Set that aside and then connect this blue connector on the battery to this blue connector that should be inside the rover. So make sure you go red wire to red wire, black wire to black wire. You would have to force it to plug it in the other way. It's pretty easy to plug in if you plug it in the right way. Plug that in and then insert this battery into the tray right there and tuck these wires into this slot. And then put the lid on, should line up right here first and then push down on this side as you screw it in. You want to screw this in and all the way and bottom it out to make sure that the lid doesn't come off during an inspection. So there, that's tight. Transmitter is on. We are ready to turn on the rover. So before we do that, I will show you how you insert a phone into this mount that is included. You just take it right here and just slot it in. Very easy to use. You can slide it around to center where you want and you would use the GoPro Quick app if you're using a GoPro to connect to the, to the camera. And this would give you a live preview and allow you to remotely take pictures while you're down inside the crawl space. And it would also allow you to save those pictures 
directly onto your phone through the app, which is very useful. So now that she's everything is ready, we're going to go ahead and turn the rover on. So on the back here, you're going to see we have the battery level indicator here and the power switch right here. So go ahead and flip on the power switch. This should beep, indicating that it has recognized the rover and connected. You will see right here there are now two lines on this. The second one should say INTP1. That means you are connected to the receiver inside the crawler and you should have control over driving it. So the right stick right here will point the camera up and down, or the left stick for you, sorry, will point the camera up and down. And then this switch right here will turn on the LEDs. So there are four LEDs on the front of this. They are angled up slightly and down slightly to help light up stuff above you and below you if it flips over. And then this switch, or this stick right here, will drive the rover. So it drives very intuitively, forward is forward, back is back, left, right. So now we are going to go ahead and set it on the floor and take it for a drive. And I'll kind of show you turning the lights on and off, flipping it over, and how to drive it. All right, now that you have initialized your rover and turned it on, we are ready to control it. So you can see it down there. Right here, I have launched the GoPro Quick app and I've connected to the GoPro. So I'm gonna hit control your GoPro or it would be enable preview, uh, depending on if you have Android or an iPhone. I'm showing an Android right here. So once that connects, you can see I've got a live stream of the GoPro. So as I point it up, point it down, Right now it's in video mode, but if you press this button, now you can take pictures. So I just have to press this button to take a picture. You can hear the GoPro beep as it takes the picture. And now you're ready to drive it. So this stick will drive it forward. This stick will drive it backwards, left, right. I'll show you kind of how fast it is. It maxes out around two to three miles an hour. So not super fast, but it has very good fine control at low speeds, as you can see right here, which we have found to be very important and useful down in a crawl space. Also, you can see we've got our zero turn. So as it turns, it will turn in a perfect circle. So if you ever get into a tight spot and need to back out of there, you can just turn it around and leave. So there you've got your lights. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go flip it over and I will show you how the GoPro app will automatically correct for flipping it over. So drive right there, flip it over. Now the camera will right itself. You can see me right there, hello. And then the camera tilt will be backwards and the driving will be backwards. So forward will be backwards now, but the steering will still feel the same. But usually if you've flipped it over, just go do the same thing again and get it right side up. Camera will flip and you're ready to go back to inspecting. So, there you go. Now you've seen it in motion. I'll just drive it around a bit more for you just so you can get a sense of how it drives. Show you some very fine driving control. So even right here, I can very slowly lift that up and you know look out the window if I want to. It's got very good control over the motors and the camera, so you can look around and all right. Now we will be taking it down into a crawl space and showing you kind of how it works in there. All right, here we have the meat inspection crawler and we are gonna show you using it in a crawl space. So you can see it down there when I flip on the lights and now I'm gonna go pretend to inspect this house. So as you can see, the camera can point pretty far up, pretty far down. We are using a GoPro Hero 11 here and streaming it to my phone. We have the light switch right here, turn the lights on and off. You can see it makes a big difference down there. With this camera specifically, the images are very high quality and a lot of pixels, so you can zoom in pretty far and still get good information. If I ever tip over the crawler, say I'm trying to go up over something like this and I accidentally tip it over, you can always untip it over. 
right there it's tipped over and the GoPro will automatically write it and now I can continue to inspect but the controls will be backwards so a little weird but what I always do is I'll just go reflip it back over so that it is upright again and then you can go back to inspecting so you never have to worry about losing an expensive piece of equipment down there but here I'll show some pictures The range with this GoPro is extremely good. You can see I can go all the way to the other end of this crawl space and maintain connection. It starts to get a little pixelated, but it's very usable. The latency is good. Like it doesn't feel hard to control. It's very consistent. And now right here, we have a screen recording directly from the phone that was used during this inspection. So here I'm just showing you kind of driving around what it looks like, the, the live view that you'll receive from the phone. Now I'm zooming in on a picture I took after the fact. Now you can save these photos directly onto your phone through the GoPro Quick app, which is what I'm using here. Sped this part up, just driving around in the back of the crawl space. Right here, I'm gonna climb up on and inspect some pipes. Again, I'll take a picture and zoom in on some important parts of the picture. Kind of show you the quality you can expect. And this is using the GoPro Hero 11 again. It'll, these will differ on your camera. Here's just some video of it driving around. I'll turn it around here in a second and show you the camera rotating up and down. And now here I'm gonna go drive it and flip it over. And as you can see, you can just continue inspecting with it upside down. The GoPro should automatically flip the view as we saw earlier. And I'm just gonna go turn around and go flip it right back over so that all the controls are correct again and continue on inspecting.